Reginald Jacobs, Rockdale County High School. Well, we're very excited to share with you that your teacher, Mr. Jacobs, is one of our three finalists for Teacher of the Year for Rockdale County Public Schools. Reginald is in his seventh year as an educator and has been teaching forensic science for three years. He also serves as the science department chair and the boys assistant basketball coach. How did I get started in teaching? Um, pretty interesting story. Uh, after college, uh, a few years after college, I moved back to Alabama, where I'm from, representing Roll Tide. Um, <clears throat> I started subbing and I was helping out coaching the boys basketball team and I was interacting with a lot of my community and I wanted to kind of give back after school. And when, after I started subbing and coaching, I got a call from a local school system asking would I be interested in taking uh, a job in the education field altogether. And that kind of sprouted uh, my educational journey. To see uh, the students come back and tell me after class or to tell me at some random moment that I want to go into science because of you. Uh, I'm inspired to become a nurse. I'm inspired to uh, do some research of my own, to apply for the CDC because of some of the stuff that we did. At some point, uh, I've never done any science labs until it was your class, Mr. Jacobs, and I just really appreciate you for what you've done. And to hear some students say how much I've given to them and what they wanted to do, not just for science, but for their community as well, is a really humbling moment that just transcends or dates back to my upbringing and how the people poured into me because that's how I was inspired. And so it gives me an opportunity to inspire others. On behalf of the Rodney Coney High School family, I want to say a proud congratulations to Mr. Jacobs for um, first being nominated by your, your, your colleagues at RCHS as Teacher of the Year and actually winning that position and then to be even further recognized for being a county finalist which is a tremendous, a tremendous accomplishment for a wonderful young man. So Mr. Jacobs is the epitome of excellence and what I love about him is his dedication and commitment to education and you can see it very clearly in his pedagogical approaches, the way that he interacts with the students and the staff, his desire to want to see the very best in students and not only in students but to see the culture of Rockdale High School being a culture of where everyone would like to work and for that I salute you Mr. Jacobs. The fruits of your labor are you're, you're now being rewarded and I salute you sir. Arlene McQueen, Conyers Middle School. If I can have your attention, please, for one moment, we have a very, very special announcement. I'm excited, the superintendent of the Rockville County Public Schools, to announce that your very own Miss McQueen is one of our three finalists for Teacher of the Year for Rockville. <laughs> Arlene is in her 16th year teaching and currently teaches eighth grade mathematics. Previously, she taught special education for 13 years. She and her husband of 18 years have two sons and two daughters. I just always the wanted to be a teacher, but what, what happened, I got scared. And so I said, well, wait a second, if I did television production and worked on something like Sesame Street, same thing. No, I tell the kids that uh, I majored in an interest, but teaching education has always been a passion. And so that's what I decided. I just went back to get the degree because that's what I always wanted to do. and. So when it was time for me to, I subbed in Rockdale County, okay. and it came natural to me. It felt comfortable, and so I'm like, okay, this is obviously it. This is what I should should have done in the first place. Congratulations once again, Miss Arlene McQueen, on being named one of the top finalists for Rockdale County Public Schools Teacher of the Year. I cannot think of a more deserving person. We're looking forward to continuously working with you and seeing you accomplish so many more great feats. So my name is Josue Batista, and I'm in the 10th grade now. And when I had Miss McQueen, I was in the 8th grade. And I feel like the reason why she's such a great teacher is because even when the students don't have the best help or don't have the best mindset in themselves, don't have the right motivation to keep going, she helps me push for that motivation. She just all around just helps you become a better teacher. As you, well, not a better teacher, but a better student as it is all around because she pushes you so hard to so want better for yourself. Sometimes, and a lot of times as a middle school teacher, you don't see the fruit of what you have done for them or done with them 
until later on. And just to be able to water that seed or be the person that plants that seed and see it uh, come to fruition, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting, it's fulfilling. Beth Withers, Salem High School. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's my pleasure, Superintendent, to formally share that you are one of our three finalists for Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Beth is in her 20th year teaching and has been teaching special education for nine years. She and her husband of 33 years have two sons, one grandson, and three dogs. Beth graduated Heritage High School in its first graduating class and spent 18 years in banking before becoming a teacher. I think it's the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with students. Um, the growths are there, they're just different and they're challenging, but because we spend so much time with our students, I know them so well. And it's just a pleasure. I mean, we get to know each other and and we can laugh and joke together, even my nonverbal students. I mean, we tease and laugh e with each other and um, there's just a closeness there. When I first started teaching special ed, I kind of said this is education as it should be because everything is individualized for each student. and there's so much individual one-on-one -on -one work, and I, I really like that. Hi, I am Brandi Johnson, principal of Salem High School, and I just want to say congratulations to Ms. Withers. You are such a deserving teacher, and we are so proud of you for being honored as one of the top three district teachers of the year. Um, you are representing Salem very well, and we love you. Uh, hi, my name's David Miller. Uh, I had Miss Withers as a teacher at Edwards Middle School in 2007 and 2008, my eighth grade year. I know, I'm very old. and. Um, she just, from the first day to the last day, and even in years beyond as we've all grown up, she just continued to be the biggest confidant I know uh, for her students. And whether we were inside the classroom, uh, in the hallway, uh, she was always our biggest support system, uh, whether it be academically, you know, me and my friends, we love to do drama and chorus, and she was always there for us, ready to meet us in the middle so that we got to get the most well-rounded education possible. And she just, uh, she's the sweetest spirit I know, and she always made learning fun. Some hard books we had to read in eighth grade, maybe some boring ones that didn't make a lot of sense to us, but she was able to shape that into something that we found extremely worthwhile and valuable even to this day. It means a lot. It really does. A recognition of, of what I do, um, especially as a special education teacher, you know, we're not recognized a lot. And we're not in it for the recognition anyway, but, um, you know, I know, I know when I taught general education, I did not know there were special ed classes like this in the school system. And, um, and so I figured that there are a lot of teachers out there still who don't know. And, um, and so the fact that what I would do every day would make somebody consider me to be Rockdale Teacher of the Year is pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs>